Hello, everyone. Everyone is watching the election, but in the back of millions of Americans' minds is how will this election affect everyone's retirement? If you're one of the people who are interested in a nonpartisan, unbiased, and middle-of-the-road perspective, stay tuned. That's what we're going to talk about. Welcome to All About Others, where you can learn financial tips, tricks, and loopholes from holistic financial planners like myself. Hi, my name is James Laster, Master of Education and Master Financial Planner of Laster Financial Consultants. If the content you see is valuable and you want to support this channel, click the subscribe button. And remember that though it may be hard, proper planning makes execution easier. Hello everyone, James Laster here, Master Financial Planner and CEO of Laster Financial Consultants. Uh, we're talking today about how the election results will affect everyone's retirement. It doesn't matter who you are, how will this election affect your retirement? There are consequences of the decisions that we make today that are going to make us have to make some adjustments for the future. So let's talk about it and let's get after it. So right now we're in the election. Uh, there's debates going on um, within everybody's households. They're, you know, maybe at work, you're not supposed to be talking about pol politics, 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 right? Well, you can't help but to talk about politics right now because we're so just, just overwhelmed with what we're receiving on the news, media, uh, social media, and so forth. And it's Trump, Pence versus Biden, Harris, Biden, Harris versus Trump, Pence, right? <laughs> so uh, just want to get a few things out in front of everybody right now. We're financial professionals. We care about the ups and downs of folks' retirement accounts, right? Because retirement accounts don't lean left, they don't lean right. They go up and they go where? Down, okay? So nothing said within this video it's meant to be an endorsement of any candidate rather our goal our goal is simply meant to provide information regarding your retirement okay so you you understand that because retirement accounts go up and because they go down we're taking into consideration the numbers so let's just look at the numbers. Just look at the numbers. Right now, the electoral um, uh, math, the race to 270 has Biden with a firm lead at 232 and Trump with 204 electoral votes, right? Uh, but six key states will determine this election. Six key states, right? You got Florida, Pennsylvania, Michigan, North Carolina, Arizona, Wisconsin, right? And of these states, Florida is the most crucial. Why? Because Florida has 29 votes. So if Biden wins Florida, Trump has to win all of the other five states. If Trump wins Florida, it's now a death match to the end, right? So with that being said, let's talk about your, uh, your retirement accounts. How does that affect your retirement accounts, right? Statistically, over the last three elections we've seen the same trends right the same trends so 30 to 45 days before the elections there's a subtle drop within the market and then after the election there's a little bit of uh you know dangling going on but there's always election market volatility so don't let the news media scare you ah this is happening hey market volatility during the elections happen but the big question is, the biggest question is, what happens after the election? What happens as it pertains to your retirement after the election? So the main focus uh, 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 for retirement issues are taxes, Social Security, Medicare, healthcare, and prescription drug costs. Let's just talk about this real quick, right? 
Here's a spoiler alert. I'm going to tell you. Here's a spoiler alert. And I'm going to back it up with math and science right now. It doesn't matter who wins this election. The taxes are going up. It's going to look a little bit different depending on who wins. But the taxes are going up. Trump wants to make the Tax Cuts and Job Act of 2017 permanent and reduce taxes for all Americans and, and further simplify the tax code. Because he, he's trying to help corporations make more money and as they save more money, they pass it on to their employees. As they save, save more money, they pass it on to their employment, right? And savings in the United States right now is at an all time low. Just, you know, just think about that, right? And then Biden's proposed plan, right? He wants to reverse ta uh, Trump's tax cuts, but put more tax burdens on the corporations and expand the earned income tax credit uh, to workers older than 65. Why is that important? Because many people have not saved for retirement. Many people have very little saved for retirement. The national amount saved for retirement right now is under $7,000 right now, okay? So many people, because of science and technology, are working longer. Before it used to be 55, then 60, 65, and then, you know, maybe 60, 67, and full social security, uh, full retirement age for social security. But now more people are forced right now because of the coronavirus, before, because of economic uh, duress, they're having to work to age 73, 75. Think about that, okay? So based upon what the candidates have said out of their mouth to date, and what their campaigns are saying right now, out of their mouth to date, if Biden wins, if you're looking at the screen right there and you see all that red, if Biden wins, taxes are going to go up. They're going to go up. There's no shame in that game. Taxes are going to go up. But if you look at Trump's numbers, both for now and in 2026, it doesn't matter. Biden and Trump's numbers are mainly neck and neck, about a 0.5% difference. That's it, about a 0.5% difference. And, and how that is weighted based upon your income is, is weighted a little bit different in both parties. So no matter what, taxes are going up, backed by math and science. So how does that affect everything? Looking at Social Security. Um, everybody is supposed to get Social Security. Social Security Trust Fund prior to 2020, Trust Fund was uh, fully funded all the way up to 2041. As of March, it dropped down to 2034. Well, with, with the, the proposal of the, the, the four-month payroll uh, tax cut to stimulate the economy, well, that puts it down to 2029, okay? Uh, Biden, he wants to address insolvency concerns with, 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 with Social Security because Social Security, as of right now, is looking to run out, right? We, before, we had 12 to 15 taxpayers paying into Social Security for every one person that's retiring. That's not happening right now, okay? Uh, if you understand Social Security, you understand that Social Security, uh, the money that you have for Social Security pays into your what? Your Medicare. So it's paying into your Medicare, okay? So now I, got, I want you to think, how much will you actually receive from your Social Security? OK, um, if it's paying into Medicare. All right. So Trump's proposal is that he wants to decrease the Medicare budget uh, from five hundred to seven hundred and fifty five billion dollars of reduction within Medicare. And he wants no reductions uh, in retirees incomes op uh, for opting out of Part A. Hmm. Is that's the way around it? Well, you do understand to be able to receive your Social Security, you have to opt in to Part A. Right. Um, Biden, he wants to build on to Medicare. He wants to build upon uh, the Obamacare provisions that are in place. And he wants to quit the denial of patients because of pre-existing conditions. Right. Um, so it's got Social Security. Social Security is paid into Medicare. Medicare is assisting with your health care. It's that 80-20 split. Right. 80 percent on uh, Medicare, 20 percent on you. So your health care means a lot because it's 20 percent of what you don't know. Right. So here's the one thing that both parties do agree upon. They want to end surprise medical billing so you can be more in control of your financial well-being and your retirement. OK, now, you know, Biden wants to increase wages uh, uh, for certain health care workers and also uh, uh, decrease corporate control over the health care system. 
Whereas Trump wants to reduce both health insurance premiums and drug costs, okay? With a complete and total repeal over Obamacare. We are still to date receiving a new information about how this outlook is going to look. But that right there is just the gist of everything. And then more importantly, prescription drug costs, prescription drug costs. Everyone believes that we need to lower the cost of drugs. Everyone agrees with that, right? How we want to go about doing it, there's some differences and there's some similarities. One of the similarities in both, both Trump's camp and Biden's camp is everyone is entertaining being able to receive prescription drugs out of the country, from places outside of the country. What would that look like? What would that change the marketplace for pharmaceuticals to be like? Uh, they want to provide, uh, uh, Biden wants to provide the ability to uh, uh, make sure that there's an increased supply of generic drugs, right? Uh, so the biggest thing that I, I want to be able to share with folks how does this affect your retirement? Is that you have to understand that prescription drugs, prescription drugs on this basis, is not just the items that you are able to, let's say, get over the counter or get from your pharmacy. Pre prescription drugs actually is also talking about certain procedures, certain procedures you cannot do on your uh, do for yourself. Certain drugs are considered procedures that you need done for you by a licensed practitioner. So, how does this affect your retirement? Are your finances ready if your taxes end up increasing in retirement? Is it ready for that? Do you know your tax bracket uh, in retirement? Do you know what that's going to be, right? Uh, and so, if you don't know that, is now the best time for a Roth conversion. Meaning, go ahead and pay the taxes on your retirement accounts, right? And the market is at an all-time high right now. Is this the best time for you to lock in your gains? Do you need to start locking in gains now? Okay. And are you protected from another COVID-19 35% market drop? Are your retirement accounts prepared for that reality? Oh, and more importantly, um, in the coming days, is there going to be a tech or vaccine, bu uh, vaccine bubble? Right. Got tech companies just exploding out of nowhere. And then you have a fight to which corporation can create a vaccine sooner. And when they create the vaccine, uh, who's going to take it? Who's going to trust it? Right? Uh, so also in this time, we're at all-time low interest rates. That's affecting a lot of financial products that people have within their portfolios. What are you going to do there? And, and, and lastly, there's a lot of regulatory changes that are set to happen. They're set to happen at the beginning of the year, 2021. All right. Are you up on those things? Okay, um, these are a lot of ways that your retirement account will be affected no matter what you do. Your retirement is now, your retirement is now at a point right now where you have to start taking into consideration a lot of things that are happening. So look, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video. Please remember to like and share this video if you found this information to be valuable. But more importantly, as you were listening, you probably heard some things you already knew. There's things you didn't know. And then there was things you didn't know you didn't know. If you are one of those folks and you have a few more questions, we encourage you to reach out to us at 877-8-LASTER-OPTION-1 or Schedule an appointment with us on our company calendar at lasterfinancial.com. Look forward to seeing all of you on our weekly videos. Take care.